Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to my presentation. Uh, I will in introduce the uh, GNU screen to Debian installer today. I will show you uh, its background, uh, what, uh, what is Debian installer, and uh, uh, what is GNU screen, and uh, why uh, I want the screen in the installer, and how to support it. Okay, first, the background. I know uh, most of you know the Debian installer. It's the, just the installer, right? <laughs> but actually, uh, it's a, a first, it's a bootable Debian environment, which is mi minimized in size. Uh, that's, that is to say, there's no document in the uh, image. There's no other non-related, uh, uh, usually used for information uh, for normal people. Uh, we, we just uh, uh, usually put in the uh, slash user, uh, slash uh, share, slash doc. Uh, but at the installer stage, we don't need this, this one. So we want to minimize the uh, environment. Um, uh, previously, we have the uh, installer in one or two floppy uh, disk, so it's very small. Mm. Nowadays, it's not possible because the uh, kernel size is already oversized the floppy, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, second, there is a uh, partition, uh, partitioner inside the. Uh, installer, so you can do the uh, partition and uh, uh, create a new disk image inside the installer. Uh, after that, we can do the uh, the uh, bootstrap to ins to install um, the Debian environment for you. Uh, finally, uh, the installer will install the bootloader. Uh, there is all kinds of uh, bootloader, uh, such as Grab for PC or for the uh, ARM64, uh, and uh, uh, for, for uh, such as ARM platform, uh, which is uh, ARM EL or, or ARM HF, we use the uh, flash kernel the bootload, as a bootloader. OK, the next, what is? GNU screen. Uh, first, it's a terminal multiplexer. Uh, it means in one real terminal, you can have uh, multiply uh, virtual terminals. And uh, uh, you, you can switch, the, switch one virtual terminal to another virtual terminal by uh, short key cut. Uh, in screen, the short key is Control A, uh, one, two, three, four, <laughs> and uh, uh, such as uh, uh, screen alternatives, Tmax, use Control B, one, two, three, four. Okay, then you must uh, thinking, <laughs> must be thinking why we need why we need the uh, GNU screen in Debian installer. What's the benefit? OK. Let me show you the normal installer. This is the normal installer, right? We have UI. And uh, if we met some problem, uh, such as uh, partition or create a uh, new image, disk image, we want to check the logs so we can uh, press the key Alt F4 to switch to the log console. This is for normal PC case. And if you want to switch back, we can press the Alt F1. 
So I can show you the demo. Where did it go? Oh, it, it's coming. Okay, here we go. So it's the uh, normal DB installer screen. So I can art, uh, enter the art F2. It's the uh, command line. So I can check many stuff here. And uh, art F4, you can see the lock here. And for if we want to turn back, we can art F1, then we go back. This is for the normal PC case. But there's no such convenient method in embedded. Okay. For, for embedded devices such as ARM HEL or ARM HEF, we usually install uh, by the serial console or the SSH uh, installed via the network. So there's only one screen, one real screen uh, for you. There's no much, uh, uh, actually there's a way, you, you can see the pre previous page, there is a, go back option here. We, we can go back and we, we can have this menu. This is the advanced menu and you can enter a shell here for embedded device. And after you enter the shell, you can check the logs. Uh, actually the logs in the slash var slash log uh, syslog. It's there, you can check it. But Every time you want to do it, you have to go back and <laughs> enter the shell. You, you cannot do it anytime because sometimes the installer is just running like install packages. You cannot do it anytime like common PC. So I was just thinking, if we have the GNU screen introduced into the Debian installer, we can just uh, can have the uh, same convenient as the common PC in the embedded area, like uh, ARM EL. So I was starting uh, start to work for it. So how how to achieve it? After some search, uh, I found I need to support the screen binary package and its dependencies, such as library, to support the UDAP. UDAP is the uh, uh, special format for the Debian installer, uh, which minimizes uh, the whole image. To say it removes the document, for example. So we have to support the UDAP for screen and its library. And we need to add those UDAPs into the Debian installer image. The third one is we, want, uh, we need to write some script to start the GNU screen in Debian installer. So first, the UDAP support.
normally um, it's controlled by the Debian slash control. It writes every binary packages for the source package. So we just add a additional section to add the UDEP, the new binary. After that, we just uh, uh, create a new UDEP install. And it's uh, almost identical to the original install file, just to remove some unnecessary files. After that, we can create a, a patch, then submit to package maintainer to let him or her to incorporate my changes. Uh, unfortunately, because we add a new package called U, uh, UDEP, UDEP package. So if the package maintainer is DM, unfortunately, uh, the, the DM, DM need to ask a, a DD to sponsor the uh, package to upload. And for the same, same reason, it, the package will uh, stay in the new queue in FTP master and wait the FTP master to approve the, up, the upload. So it takes a much longer time than um, common packages. And what I do is to add these, the screen, sub UDF support and its dependencies. I create four bugs report. Actually, it's a, a patch report. Uh, after that, uh, sorry. Yeah, uh, after that, so, so we can have the UDAP package already uh, ready but we still need to include in the uh, Debian installer build. So I write uh, the, so I uh, patch the installer uh, GIT repo to support it. And finally, we need to start the GNU screen the command uh, after we start the uh, Debian installer. We also need a screen configuration to emulate uh, the, the installer uh, environment like PC. We, we actually have four screen, uh, virtual screen in the uh, Debian installer. One is the main screen uh, and the two uh, command line console and the final is the log console. So we want to emulate it. Okay. Then I want to show the demo to you. Actually, I ran the Debian installer in virtual machine. Okay, this is the uh, Debian installer with uh, GNU support. So we have four virtual terminal here. One, two, three, four. And I can switch the terminal by short key, such as Control A, two, Control A, three, and Control A, four. This is the log.
at the PC side, as you see now, uh, it seems not much useful because we can use the uh, R ART F1, F2, F3 to switch. But for the embedded side, it's much useful. So I have a uh, progress update. Actually, these updates are, uh, this uh, action item is already done, such, such as um, the first two package, uh, the library actually is not needed at all because we can, uh, I, I learned from the uh, uh, Lauren and uh, actually the screen can be configured to compile twice. When, once is, uh, the first time is the uh, uh, normal screen, and the second time for uh, it don't use many such as audit and the PAM library. So it can be uh, the screen UDAP binary can be minimized. And uh, actually the, the actual library need to support is the and cursors. It has been uploaded to the FTP uh, master uh, two weeks ago and with the screen binary. For the uh, Debian images, I just uh, push the command uh, after the I scratch alpha 7 released uh, this week. So I just uh, push the commit after release. So you can now try the, the screen in, in uh, Debian installer in the DI daily images. So which device will be benefit? So it's uh, Usually, some ARM board in, installed by server console or SSH, uh, the network console, and uh, some big machines like uh, Spark 64 or uh, IBM's uh, S390X, and some even some PC can be benefit because some PC are uh, headless. There's no HDMI or VGA port on, on that kind of um, PC, like PC server. I would like to thank the various people uh, through early request from command stage of my proposal and various help uh, during my UDEP uh, up, uh, package upload stage. Thank you very much. So, do you have any questions? First of all, I use uh, small embedded systems all the time, so absolutely this will be of great help. So thank you very much for all your hard work. Um, I really appreciate this. Um, what was the one thing uh, that you found uh, hardest uh, with doing this, and what was the one thing that surprised you the most of how easy it was? <laughs> Uh, actually, the most difficult part is the uh, uh, upload the package because one package is uh, maintained by a DM, uh, but he uh, usually he, he can upload without a DD uh, res uh, sponsor sponsorship. But since the UDAP add a new package, so it, it, uh, we need a DD to sponsor it. 
So it, um, I think it's uh, take amount, uh, almost uh, two months through the, through the process. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the one thing you found um, really easy to do that uh, you thought was going to be hard? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Nothing, it was all yeah. hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from from technical side, it, it, it's no hard because everything is there. I, I just uh, to uh, write some simple patch to uh, add the UDAP support and some script to start the uh, GNU screen in the Debian installer. So from technical side, it's uh, not so difficult. Awesome. Thank you. Next question. <laughs> Um, you, you said that um, it was already uh, in the stretch alpha, so do you uh, think... No, no. Uh, I comment my uh, comment after. Okay, the, after, uh, so it's going to be yeah. after the freeze. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Um, and do you know if uh, adding all these libraries and screen uh, increases the, the size of the, uh, the ISO image, like the mini ISO image a lot or not? Does it make a difference? Uh, yes, it will... Uh, it, it will, uh, the Debian installer image will be a little bit larger than before. Um, and uh, such as the, uh, uh, one, one machine uh, that uh, Debian installer support is the uh, QNAP, uh, ARMEL QNAP uh, platform. That platform has the uh, size limitation because we, put the uh, kernel image and uh, init rd image in the flash. And the flash size is uh, about, uh, for kernel, I think it's two mega. And uh, uh, for the init rd is four, four mega. Mm. So it's size li limited. And the uh, uh, GNU screen package uh, add about, uh, I think is 500K. Mm. So it's not impossible to incorporate this feature, this new feature, into that, Im uh, into that specific Im images. Uh, for other images, I think it's OK. There's no big size limitation concern. <coughs> so currently, uh, it's in the uh, um, Debian installer daily build image. So you can just uh, try it in daily. And the uh, URL is, I think I, I write it. Yeah. It's here. There are many um, images in there because we support all the architectures. Uh, such as uh, AMD64 and uh, 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 GNU Herd, uh, kernel free, free BSD, such as that. So you need to choose the right architecture and the right image. Okay, this is my talk. Thank you very much. <laughs>